It's David here with the first video in probably about 10, about 10 months or so. So, focus of today's video is this Dell Latitude E6400, which I purchased locally. Uh, paid a little bit much for it, but I find people are ridiculous when it comes to selling things around here. Yes, this is an older laptop, but finding a newer laptop for a half decent price is nearly impossible. The laptop did actually come with all the original CDs, the Vista install disk, all the Dell applications, uh, the Roxio creator, not sure what that would be for, and comes with all the drivers, and another Dell application CD. Obviously, I won't really be using these because I just, when I go to reinstall Windows, as the original drive in this, decided to uh, stop working and the guy who I bought it from said when he had tried it it took an over an hour to boot which makes me definitely think the drive was failing when he put it back into the system and it had Windows 10 and Windows 10 doesn't run very well on these older laptops so we'll go ahead and open it up here if I can do this one-handed there we go as you can see the machine is in pretty good shape it still has the Vista and Core 2 Duo stickers inside. This machine functions perfectly other than the W and S X keys for whatever reason no longer work. I don't know why those three keys would be the ones to fail, but as you can see it has a fingerprint scanner, all the function keys. Um, surprisingly this laptop has, when you, it actually has an LED for the numpad even though for, which is kind of strange because be pointless to put a numpad somewhere in here. <clears throat> it also features the tra this old, I don't know what the hell you'd call that kind of mouse. Four trackpad buttons, well five if you can't this one, not sure what that would be for. And on the rear, the laptop has a one gigabit ethernet port and display port out, which is actually quite surprising considering this laptop is from about 2009. On this side, we have VGA out, a USB e SATA. I believe there's also a Kensington lock on this machine. And here is the, if my phone would actually focus the power. <clears throat> Another problem is the battery in this laptop is quite worn. And Dell put the COA for Vista in a very interesting spot. It's actually hidden in behind the battery. And actually, if we carefully set this down here, when you push this button, it'll actually show you how full the battery is. Docking port, of course. And then on, this is actually where your hard drive would go. What you do is there's two screws along the bottom. You undo both of those, and then this little piece would fit on your hard drive, and you slide it out. <clears throat> and, of course, it has an optical drive, firewire, 1394, another two USB, and this little guy is for the SIM card which you can install in one of these machines to get Wi-Fi anywhere, microphone and headphone port, another two USB. This machine also does actually have built-in webcam, not all of these particular latitudes came with a webcam built-in. It also has Bluetooth, so here's all your Lights, battery, or hard drive, charging light, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and that would be your cell network. And then over here you can see you have your numpad light, caps lock, and scroll lock. Power button is over here. We'll actually power the machine on to show that it does work. And then we'll just go ahead and start mashing the crap out of the F12 button. And yes, this machine does feature the backlit keyboard. What I find annoying is you actually have to hit F12, go to your boot menu to get into the BIOS with these particular machines. Now, at some point I probably will see about getting a replacement keyboard as it's a bit of a pain to not have three keys that would probably be used a fair bit. <clears throat> not working. And, as you can see, typical wear and tear along the top, just a couple scratches. Now, if it would actually... oh, it seems to have froze itself. Typical. And I also did get the original Dell 90 watt AC adapter. I don't really need it at this point because the laptop has plenty of charge, but the battery only lasts about an hour. Come on. 
Then yet again, it froze up when I tried to get it to bring up the boot menu. Strange. And something I've read is that the fingerprint scanner does not work in anything past Vista, why that is, and why Dell couldn't have released a driver <clears throat> for new operating systems, I don't know, but I'm sure there's a workaround for it. And yet again, it just keeps wanting to lock up. Hmm. Anyways, this laptop features a Core 2 Duo T9500 clocked at 2.6 GHz, 4 GB of DDR2-800, and an NVIDIA Quadro NVS-160M256 Meg GPU. The screen is 1610. It is 1280 by 800, which is a bit of a ridiculous resolution for a business-grade laptop, in my personal opinion. And, of course, down on the front, your SD card, well, card reader is down in here. And we'll just go ahead and power this off and see if I cannot pull the battery. <clears throat> there we go. Here's the battery. This is an 85 watt hour lithium ion and of course it says to get Dell batteries please go to the website and here's where your sim card would go there's the Vista COA this is the all the information about the laptop <clears throat> and of course my phone I think just rotated a funny way but could be wrong it would I believe it also shows the service tag which I don't really need because I know where to get the drivers for these particular machines anyhow so once the new hard drive arrives for this there will be a second video on the machine of it obviously up and running and then hopefully in a few months and some time it'll have the keyboard replaced but for now I'll just have to find an external keyboard to use until that but anyways that's all for this video